Chota Toyota. Review about the Chote. Switching over to the 787. Go ahead, you want to lead? Go. Okay, we are here again. This time, I'm keeping my wallet in. I'm not letting it out, no matter what. A few moments later. Hey, welcome back. You know, the other day, I, one of my videos, uh, during the group ride, I was talking about what I found uh, uh, special about Harley Davidson. And I mentioned something about uh, the community being part of something. You know what it is with the Harley? I couldn't put a uh, pinpoint it. Now I realize it's the culture. We're this beautiful boy. It's the culture. It's the people. It's like all Americana, you know? Being part of something. And I want to share a uh, short story about something that happened during the ride that I think is kind of indicative of uh, the Harley Davidson group, the Harley Davidson people. So during the ride at one of the stops, when we stopped at uh, the market, uh, one of the buddies, uh, one of the buddies uh, at the ride, I uh, was drinking a root beer and he dropped dropped a glass bottle on my fender. And immediately he was like all upset about it. He just went in to t took a cloth from his from his motorcycle and started cleaning it up and stuff. And he immediately looked at me, said, said to me, Sandy, don't worry about it. No matter what it is, I'll take care of it. I said, OK, don't worry about it. Let's let's not make this ruin our ride. And uh, he made sure, uh, once we separated, he made sure, take a look now, you can see, he made sure to, that, that I call him, we changed, he gave me his phone number. Say it out and that's it. Hey, you don't know we your number. <laughs> <laughs> I'll dial it, this way you can, you got the camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Just give me a call, whatever yeah, you gotta sure. do, yeah, all right? I'll figure it out. Don't worry. What's your name? George. George. And his name is George. And why, why I find this special is, is because the next day I went uh, to the body shop and got a quote. Uh, there was a little ding, you can see a little ding and a ripple on the front fender. And I sent it out to him and he immediately said, yeah, give me your, give me your PayPal, Zelle or uh, Venmo, whatever, I'll send you the money. And like two minutes later, he went ahead and sent the money. So first of all, I'd like to, you know, to thank you, George. You're, you're, you're a man of your word. I really appreciate that. I like it when people take responsibility for their actions and they're accountable for what they've done. And, and you know, I'm not saying that other other uh, people uh, would be total douchebags and, and not stand up and, and not take accountability, but but I, I was um, I was like pretty, I was, I admire, I admire, uh, I appreciate uh, the character of somebody like that. and. Thank you, George. Thank you very much. I really thought I, I should put it out because you you are the people I was talking about with uh, the Harley people, the community, you know, uh, people I like to hang out with. So thank you so much, George. I appreciate it. And one last thing to add. He doesn't own a Harley. I'm sure he did in the past. He actually has an Indian. But Indian and Harley Davidson, it's, it's the same people. It's the, the same type of people. Thank you.